Today I'm going to show you how to shoot in underslung mode with this gimbal, the DJI Ronin SC. So if you know what's going on or if you watch the news about DJI, then you know they've just released a new DJI RSC2, which is just an upgrade off this gimbal. So that gimbal is a foldable gimbal, which can basically shoot in underslung mode. So if you're one of those people that's having a case of FOMO, you don't want to miss out on, you know, the new underslung shooting mode that that portable gimbal offers, but you only have the Ronin SC, then you're going to love this little gimbal hack that I'm going to show you guys right here. So if that stuff interests you, stick around for this right here. I'm going to talk about that tool and I'm going to show you guys how to use it as well as all the different other advantages or benefits that you can gain out this thing. All right. So in my hand right now, I've got the small rig, wooden handle hand grip for the DJI Ronin SC. So this right here is a rosette arm. It just means that you can see right there. I don't know if you can see the teeth. That's just what makes it a rosette arm. So this can also rotate 180 degrees. So this little tool goes all the way up and all the way down. It doesn't go past that, past that 90 degree angle. It doesn't go past that, but that's all you basically need when you're shooting. So it gives you multiple options or it can just act as a side handle for your DJI Ronin SC. It also has right here a bunch of one over four inch threads as well as three over eight inch threads right here. So one over four inch threads, three over eight inch threads, which gives you more mounting options for extra accessories. Lots of different things like, for example, a monitor. Also, there is a rubber interior or a rubber finish on the inside of the little clamps that hold or that attach this thing to your gimbal which basically makes it so you can't scratch it, you know, when you attach this to your gimbal. So that's a nice little touch or a nice little addition by Small Rig. They make a lot of cool, cool tech, uh, cool little, uh, you know, do it yourself type items or rigs that you can, you can use with most of these gimbals. So that's great to know. Another thing you should note about this uh, hand grip is that there's two holes on either side of the wooden hand grip you know, for attaching straps. So if you want to attach straps to this tool so you can, you know, put your gimbal across your neck or just, you know, so you can ha have a handle for your gimbal, then that's another cool addition. But that you'd have to buy separately, the straps, for, uh, of course. Another cool thing you should note about the rosette arm is the fact that you can lock it with this little knob. So you can bring it to a full stop at any point along the 180 degree rotating arm, as you can see. So I'm gonna lock this up right now, show you guys what I'm really talking about. So it's so easy to, to use this little tool because you don't have to do much with it. All you have to do is attach this clamps. You can just attach this to your gimbal within seconds. Seconds, I tell you. All you have to do right here is unlock this little knob. As you can see, once you have that knob unlocked right there, then you can just attach that to your DJI Ronin SC. And like I said earlier, there's a nice rubber finish on the interior of that clamp, making it so you don't have to scratch, you know, your gimbal. So I'm going to pull up my DJI Ronin SC right now and attach this to it so I can show you so I can show you guys how it looks. Okay, so now I've got my DJI Ronin SC in front of me and I've got this unlocked and opened up. So I'm going to attach this to the top end or the middle console of my DJI Ronin SC. That's how you would use this. So right there, and you just close this little clamp and you screw it on. Now I've got the hand grip attached to my DJI Ronin SC, as you can see, super easy, attachable in seconds, I tell you. So you can now use this to shoot in underslung mode, which is basically just low angle shooting as well as high angle shooting. And you know, you can also attach a bunch of different things to it, like a monitor, you know, LED lights, whatever you want to attach to your gimbal. Right here, there's a cold shoe mount on the hand grip. So you can attach anything you want that has a cold shoe mount. So like a microphone has a cold shoe mount, you can attach it to it. You can also attach uh, a screen you can also attach a screen to the sides of the arm or to the side or one of the one of the four screws on the side here giving you more flexibility like I said so you could be shooting with this and have your monitor out along here so or along here it doesn't matter so it gives you flexibility like I said which is the best thing or the biggest thing when it comes to you know having this little arm right now when I took this outside to shoot with it it pretty much held its own you know like this thing is sturdy and it's solid to be honest, if I didn't have the DJI RSC2, I would probably keep it to use with my DJI Ronin SC because I already have a bunch of small rig items that I love. So this would just, you know, fit right in. I've got my mini LED lights right here and I'm just going to attach this to the cold shoe mount of this arm. So this is a cold shoe mount right here. If you didn't know what that was, this is a cold shoe mount at the bottom of my lights. I don't have a monitor with me right now, so I'm just going to use this, you know, to replace that. Right here is the cold shoe mount attachment point. So you can attach all kinds of different things that have a cold shoe mount. So all you have to do for that is just slide it on and you're in. 
so it's very easy to use and then you you tie you obviously tie in your cold shoe mount you know attach it to the cold shoe mount point so that's what i've done right here so if i was going to use this then that's how i would use it but i'm not going to use that so if i had a monitor this is how it would look if i attached a monitor with a cold shoe mount i'd be able to shoot with the gimbal in low angle mode as well as be able to see what's going on on my camera. Depends on what you're trying to do with it, but this gimbal gives you versatility, gives you more options, gives you the ability to shoot at a variety of angles, which is awesome, especially with a gimbal, because gimbals are, you know, supposed to make you creative and give you a bunch of different kinds of creative shots. This small rig hand grip basically gives the DJI Ronin SC the ability that the DJI RSC2 has in that it can shoot in underslung mode now, as well as more, you know. It gives it more options, because I, like I said, there's a bunch of different attachment points, you know, gives you a lot of mounting spots for a lot of different accessories. One last thing I need to talk about when it comes to this uh, hand grip is the price. So the price as of the time of this video in the US is 99 US dollars and in Canada it's 130 99 Canadian dollars so depending on where you are you can go ahead and check the price different places but those are just references but that's all I got for you guys in this one if you're going to be using this tool with your DJI Ronin SC I'd like to know down in the comment section and if you enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to my channel if you enjoy videos like this you know about gimbals or anything like that make sure to check out the video on the screen right now and I'm gonna catch y'all in my next video it's Midas and I'm out y'all <laughs>